All right, we are under sail. Engine down. We're doing four knots. We got six knots on the beam, apparent wind, so not bad, but it's nice to not have to listen to the engine. And we give it a little rest so that our exhaust manifold repair <laughs> can take a break also, which held perfectly, by the way, so very happy about that. So, so far, so good. And we've got 23 nautical miles to Portobello, so it's gonna be a long afternoon especially at four knots, but we'll sail as much as we can and then motor when we have to. So that's the plan. Let's see how it goes.
been one hell of a day. Oh, wow. Yeah, we get back to Linton Bay tomorrow. Stanley wants to come. I told him he wanted to come and just go to, uh, what do you call it, Panama City and just buy the pipe for the wind generator. I'm like, no, no, no. I think you should actually measure it first to make sure you get exactly the same size. So he's going to wait for us to get there tomorrow, measure the pipe, then he'll go get the pipe. And then the other priority for him, I think, is to get this engine moved because we got to move it right now. It's in the way of our dinghy lift. The dinghy lift won't come up and close. So we need to move that engine either over there or over here. I'd like to put it down there because I want to test it for hydro generation when we're rolling. Oh, and just yeah, it's a blast is nice. See how much power it generates when we're moving, when we're sailing, and also just to see how much propulsion it gives us as a six kilowatt motor strapped to the back of the lady. Be interesting to test. So that would be next, but we just got to build a back a mount on the back of the platform. So that will be the two main priorities, I think, and then go from there with the rest of the list and see what happens. Everything else, we wait till San Andres. Should we furl up the jib or the yeah. gentleman? It's been a long day. Okay. it and getting out. It's very easy to get in but it's difficult to get out. Okay. So where do we need to move this? It needs to move over here. We need to check under this floorboard first. Okay, so let's move that. Okay. So I'm pretty sure I heard the noise under this floorboard, so I'm going to check here first. Let's 
another one of those French fittings. Yeah. This you understand, Ali? French fittings. Hey. <laughs> we rebelled. <laughs> we went to Panama. <laughs> no, I meant historically. Oh, well, that too. Alright, I need big expandable flyers, please. Big expandable flyers. Yeah, after we lose uh, one tank, for luck is not really a big issue we can fix. Well, that depends if the fitting is cracked or if it just came loose. If it just came loose and we can put it back in and retighten it, okay, we might get another little while again, but if it's cracked, we are screwed because I don't have anything to replace that with left in stock. This is why we're trying to replace all these fittings because they're all just... It's French. Nothing matches them, that's the problem. They make all these fittings just a little bit different size than everybody else because it's better. If you don't like it, fuck off. <laughs> but this is the shit we run into when we're on a French boat, halfway around the world, the only place you can fix it is France. I got you... Oh, I thought this was the big, but it's actually the small. Do you want me to get no, it? I need bigger. Bigger. Go bigger, go home. <clears throat> Mas grande, por favor. We like more big. Hey, I heard that. Size matters. <laughs> oh, I figured out where you lost your plug for your sink drain. Oh, <laughs> wow, nice. <clears throat> well, the fitting still seems intact. I'm not sure why it came out, there's not enough tension. Tape? I use the name plumber tape. Plumbing tape? Plumbing tape. I don't think that's that. Teflon tape. Teflon tape. We have, no? Yeah, but that's not exactly for this application. It would be, but not for these types of fittings, because if you put Teflon tape, it expands the fitting, and then you end up cracking the fitting. Yeah. There are certain fittings that, yes, they are designed for plumber's tape. This is not one of them. One of the reasons we can't fix them. Okay, let's see. Pressurized. Yeah. Doesn't seem to be any leaks. Oh, it's like <coughs> it's blocked. <coughs> Now we open the valve. Oh, the valve. Wow. I'm just burping the fitting a little bit. That's the old line for the old washing machine. And it will be the new line for the new washing machine, but we don't have it yet. Okay. All right, that's the issue. Well, that seemed like an easy fix. They always do. Yeah, well. yeah I'm scared of okay. saying that. <laughs> I understand. We lose for one little issue like this, we lose half tank. Yep. I'm so happy about it. Mm -hmm. And the worst thing is that happens in the ocean when you're sailing. That's why when you're sailing on the ocean, you don't use water frequently. It's better to just leave the pump off all the time. Turn it on when you need it because it's very infrequent that you need to use water when you're sailing on the ocean. But if your pump blows a fitting or something, and the next thing you know, all your water's in the bilge before you even know what happened, and yeah, it's a big problem when you've got 20 days till the next port. Yeah, I think so. Especially if you don't have a water maker, or if you have a water maker and have electrical issues. So, no, it's best to just leave the pump off when you're... Uh, sailing. Sailing long term. Mm. All right, well, that's going to fix that for now. Get this back on. And, uh, hopefully, we have enough water, have a hot shower, and go to dinner. Uh, I'm a great captain. I think so. Everybody's happy now. Relief of her now. Okay, guys, enjoy. After a long day and surviving much hardship, yeah. and we didn't sink. <laughs> no. <laughs> Yay, we have a very nice dinner <laughs> in a very beautiful place with a nice music. You can listen. It's very nice. I won't test the yacht too, eh? Because we don't. Back off. Yeah.
<laughs> Peck off, get your own sandwich. Now we're on our shopping trip in Portobello. Uh, we spent the night in the Anchorage in Portobello and it was a little bit rolly. Oh, look at this. Mm. Oh, whoa. It's so pretty. Wow. So yeah, today we're just going through town, picking up some food and then we're gonna be off to Linton Bay. And that's a shorter ride. I think last time we did it, it was about two and a half hours or so. So yeah, we found some good bread in there. We're still hunting for bananas, but I think maybe in Linton Bay we'll get some. But so far it's successful. If you arrive soon in Linton Bay, before then I'll pass one, two o'clock, have the track of the veggie too. Ah. And we usually get stuff uh, delivered to this little place that's right by the dinghy dock so we can just load it on the dinghy and take it back to the boat. Oh look, our delivery is already here I think. That was really fast. Hola, Hola. buenas. So, they put everything by the dinghy. So we're gonna load everything from here. Piña or papaya? Piña please! And we're gonna load it in the dinghy. But for now, we're gonna get some juice. We have all our juices. Meanwhile, we're boat shopping. <laughs> Delicious. Where yeah, is sleeping in the bed, uh, where we are outside for yeah, the- Yeah, and if you're sailing, the baby can bump his head maybe, so then you make a kind of- Oh, thank yeah, you. area for the baby. Yeah. Oh, uh, guys, uh, some friend uh, for another boat. If you you see, mm. <laughs> and uh, a baby now is go uh, she's growing, but she want to give me some stuff. Oh. Hey, ciao, guys! Call this? I don't know oh. if you're going to use it, but that's so funny. Hey. This is oh, baby oh, sun so cute. <laughs> wow. We have the sunglasses. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I have you so. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> See the shoes? Oh, and this is a very nice uh, baby clumper because oh, it's the net. so small. So. No insect can come through this, yeah. Okay. We used it a lot, yeah. <laughs> wow. How many stars? Baby hammock! Oh. Wow! <laughs> this is the best gift yes. at this historic this love a lot. So... Some babies love it very much. Wow! Our baby was a little bit restless in the beginning, so... We have a bed! Maybe... <laughs> so maybe the baby, your baby will Look, love this. Look, the first thing that the, the <laughs> mama breaker told to me now is you need a baby Hammer. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Look, it's some nice babies nice. have pain in oh, the stomach. Oh, it's a nice one too. Very they cool. They can lay on their, on their stomach. On if he likes the, hammock yeah, as much as daddy baby, does, yeah. he's going to like his hammock. <laughs> yeah. Baby you. relaxation. <laughs> Two times and it has a totally <laughs> different <laughs> shape. <laughs> and so I'm really happy with this clothes are all from the world. So these are the last one. Good luck <laughs> with all the baby and yes. the traveling. And yeah. thank you so much for everything. Thank yeah. you. Nice to see you. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> oh, she's so good, like Perla. She's oh, discovering. Yeah. New boat, everything new. Yes. Who says babies don't like boats? <laughs> Every baby loves a boat. <laughs> you guys are going to be surprised. I've seen this no. before many, many times. Ciao. 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 Ciao, guys. Nice to meet you. See you again. All right, I think we are good to In go. In the business, do you want to put the flag now or after? So in Linton Bay where we go to some blast. We need to just move. We have okay. we're late. And I know he's gonna be waiting to measure this pole. I told him we we're gonna be there at lunchtime and now it's already lunchtime. Eleven. Okay, we go. So day two. We are underway. Engine started first crank today. <laughs> Very happy about that after the starter incidents we've had recently. And again, we have a beautiful sunny day. We don't have sails up yet. 
but we are just heading out of Portobello and what a beautiful sunny day you can just see the colors this these are the colors that make you feel alive not the gray dreary rainy shit that we've had for so long but it's so nice a lot of the last week or so we've had this kind of weather which is thank you <laughs> it's all we can say it's very much appreciated because we were in need of some good weather but we are underway and yes engine is doing well so we haven't had any issues we got to monitor the temperature now because we just started but we're heading back to linton bay because we've got to get stanley who did our rails here he's going to do some more stainless work on the boat we got one of our granny bars. This one is good and solid, but the other one has come loose, so we got to get the mounts re-welded on that. He's going to fix that up for us. And he's also going to replace our wind generator pole, because if I haven't told you already, we've been looking for a long time for a new wind generator, and I found one. I'm going to test it. I hope that it works well. It's larger than this one, so it's two kilowatt capability, <clears throat> but I figure it's something that will hopefully put out about two to 300 watts in our average wind conditions around 15 to 16 knots. Well, not here, but you know, when we're in normal places where we get wind instead of <laughs> rain. But we're going to try this wind generator, but it's going to have much more power, of course, and more wind resistance. So we need a stronger pole. This one is a two inch schedule 40 stainless steel pole, and we need a schedule 80. So the difference is the wall thickness, the diameter of the pole itself. So two inch schedule 40 is about an eighth inch inner diameter, or sorry, inner thickness of the wall. And schedule 80 is probably closer to a quarter inch. It's much heavier, so it's more solid and will carry the wind and have resistance to the wind. So that is what we're gonna get Stanley to start with among a couple other projects. We're in the final stretch. We're gonna see what we can accomplish here in the next few days. And then we're hopefully gonna head over to Sandblast and hang out for a few days while we wait for a good weather window to San Andres. So, we are getting there. Almost home. We're in the home stretch, but now we gotta get our cords ready because we're heading back to Linton Bay and we had spliced together an old electrical cord to get us working temporarily one time, but I've got new fittings to put on it, so that's gonna be today's first project. Right there. <laughs> How we doing, Skipper? Oh, we're great. Everything got, okay? Uh... Doing four and a half. Yeah. We got seven knots right on the bow. So not too much wind. And it's a beautiful day. But just heading out the bay. Yeah. All right, you ready for projects? Ready <laughs> when you are. Okay, so this is our new end right here. This is a brand new cable. So we already bought a new cable, but it's not long enough for most places that we go to that need to run because our shore power outlet is right back here and it usually needs to go up to the bow, and that's 50 feet alone, and these cords are all 50 feet. So I had another couple of 50 footers here that we spliced together, but you can see this is the splice. So under the splice itself is just a bunch of butt connectors, and the cord itself is rated for 30 amps at 110 volts, but of course, I have to regulate it because when we tested it at even 25 amps, this was getting hot, so they can't handle that much current. The rest of the wire, no problem at all. So I put our regulator downstairs down to 18 amps and that kept it so that this was just a little bit warm, but that's all. So now we're gonna cut this section out and put this connector on instead, which is a proper 30 amp connector, and that'll couple to our new shore power cord here. This one already has a new connector on this end, so you can see that's already a brand new connector and we'll be coupling it with this one at the other end and that will join these two together. Because if you look at what happened to this old cable, you can see it clearly gets overheated from the old connectors. And we've already replaced everything on the boat right back to the input connector at the back. Now we have new wires, new connectors. So just a piece of this extra cable that we're going to use just to extend it to get around to the, around to the power base. So we're probably gonna put about a 25 foot extension on it there and about and put this end on it then they will couple together. That will handle 30 amps, no problem. And we should be good to go. No more heat, and we can turn our regulator back up to 30 amps, or maybe 28. I usually dial it down a little bit from the maximum just so we don't have any heat issues. But it will certainly get us a lot more power charging capabilities at 28 amps than it will 18 amps. So that's the goal. So that'll be a little project we're gonna work on here, just as we stay paying attention to where we're going as we leave the bay. And it is beautiful, look at that, wow. Beautiful colors. 
Nice to see the sun. Yeah, and the colors on the water. Oh man. And water leaving the back of the boat. On our way. Okay, so yeah, you've got this out. This is our cutters and strippers. And you got the screwdriver set? Yep. Okay. Perfect. All right, that should be all we need. So we're gonna need a number two Phillips and our cable cutters to start and our strippers. Yeah, this we're just gonna cut off and check the, the quality of the wire inside. So that connector's toast. We're not using it for anything anymore. Yeah. How's it look? As long as it's shiny, that's good. Not green or black. So the wire itself is still in good condition. It's just this terminal that was bad, so this is toast. That goes in basura, garbage. Put in the trash. Alright, so we're just gonna cut this shit off too. Okay, so that's the inside of our connector. So now we need to open up these two pieces by taking those three screws off. And we need to cut an opening on the back of this one. That's probably not going to be big enough, so we'll probably need the exacto knife. And a little bit more throttle. Yeah, there's no wind. It's right on our bow. That means there's absolutely no wind. We're making it. So far we're clear and engine's holding. Good news. We need that kind of thing today. Yep. After yesterday, we need a break. Yes. Just big enough. Get it way down out of the way. This goes next. Now, if you measure that off, we just need to put them in here. Where'd you measure that much? Uh, a little bit more. Yeah. Just kind of easily guide this around a little bit at a time until you feel it release. Then you can go inside, make sure the other wires aren't cut, and they're not, so we're good. Favorite tool? These guys are a godsend. You gotta have a pair of these. They're great for stripping big cables or anything like that. You just put it in the size you need, measure off a quarter inch, and strip it down. We got a little bit of oxidation on the water, so if you got a small piece of fine sandpaper, we're just gonna sand those off a little bit. Or a knife, you can use the exacto knife to scrape them also. I'm just cleaning them up till they're nice and shiny on the outside. Now, the terminal should be green. Well, this one's green, so I'm guessing green goes with green. Yeah. It's the gold and the silver that I'm not so sure about. Silver will be white, gold will be hot. Okay. Okay. Is it okay if I come on board, yeah. Mila? 
No, get your ass out. No, I don't want to knock everything over. These fittings be expensive. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ah. Now I can see you. Oh. Let's measure. Measure twice, cut once, just like Gandhi said.